we've had some questionable elections over here. Two, deceptive legal titles outlawed. No act shall be submitted for evaluation or passage. No act shall stand. And no act shall be passed bearing a title expressing, claiming, or aspiring to deliver anything beyond the demonstrated bounds and capabilities declared in its purpose and absolutely achieved by integrally declared means. 3. Stature of all purported law is perpetually contingent upon full verification of its whole. No vote shall be effective until fully verified. Unverifiable votes or elections shall count against all subject actions and elections. Subject means of verification shall be performed as immediately as practical with reasonable tolerance for aberration and means. Purpose delay shall be criminal offense with commensurable pen penalties. 4. Indispensability of public verification of every vote. A wholly public method of verification shall altogether comprise personal confirmation by each voter of public data, reporting both the ballot and confirmations of each voter, with a collective vote of groups of no more than five voters verified by personal interaction between each and every voter of each such base group with each and every base group being a further member of however many necessary outer tier groups of no more than five groups, with so many outer tiers as necessary accounting for the whole vote, with a randomly and alter alternately appointed captain of each and no more than one group, confirming the collective vote of the outer group to which their group belongs, from the total counts of each of the five comprising groups with all confirmations being permanently recorded without, within the same body of a collective record, with exemplary technological tools capable of readily verifying the count being available to all. That is, each of us are capable. This is a simple web type of an application in which each of us are given the power to verify, in effect, the whole vote by verifying parts of it and confirming that the sum of certain parts and therefore of all parts is in, in fact true. It concurs with the purported outcome of the election. With the processing algorithm of a single universal method of so doing being available to all, with any fault or inconsistency thereof in validating the election, and reversing any exercise of power or reward thereby, and with invalidation necessitating immediate rectification of all faults and immediate reperformance of the election and or validation processes as certifies the entire vote without error or omission. 5. Incumbent preservation of the vote of locales, scope of considered disposition of the people. No method of election shall overrule the, the popular vote of any locale, nor shall it exclude anyone from preserving vital rights, regardless of age, if sufficient capability to understand and to express opposition to potential infringement can be demonstrated. Those are standards, necessary standards of the right to vote, a right and obligation to vote. 6. Disposition of oaths of office and of civil or legal representation. No allegiance may be sworn in the legal and or civil representation of the people, but first and foremost, and without the least conflict of interest, to abide by every stricture of the Constitution as bound by this mandate. That completes Section 3. Section 4, the title of which is Enforceability in Respect to Elections, Expulsion, Crimes of Office. 
Every reasonable aspect of the expectable integrity of appeals, promises, or actions of candidates, elected officers, agents, acts, and propositions shall be enforceable. 1. Criminality of evasion, indispensable documentation, inviolable lawful obligations of government. The purposes and means of any advocated act, office, or existent action shall be bereft of evasion, shall be fully qualified by sufficiently complete, comprehensive, and contractual documentation, and thus the promises of candidates, elected officers, agents, and advocates shall be inviolable lawful obligations. No more false promises. A. Mandatory response to de demonstra demonstrable paths of refinement. Shall further perfection of advocated purposes or means be sufficiently demonstrated, differing advocates must immediately either withdraw contest or formally and officially concur in the more accountable proposition. In any such author, officer or enactment, having sought or advocated a demonstrated imperfection, must survive an immediate vote of confidence by a lawful majority, the failure of which shall immediately expel responsible officers and their administrators from office. B. Violation of promise compels immediate expulsion of violating officers, agents, and administrators. Demonstration of violated promise or failed duty shall immediately expel officers, agents, and their administrators from office or agency. All related actions shall be null, void, and rectified, and therefore all resistance, delay, or attempt to evade expulsion on the part of affected officers or agents and their subordinates shall be severe criminal transgression of this act. The different grades of transgression are penalized as decided by each respective country, the people of each respective country, as we conclude in Section 10. C. Exclusion of violators from further participation in government. No officer, agent, or subordinate so expelled from office, except subordinates who willfully signaled the fact of transgression, may seek or occupy office or agency in any capacity of government, or may seek to influence governments again. All further and previous benefits or compensation for former duties shall be forfeited and liability for damages inflicted shall be determined in courts representing the universal rights and justice of the people. D. Evasion in government is a severe criminal transgression against the purposes of the people. Evasion of reasonable accountability in either the pursuit or the performance of office or agency being adverse to the very purposes of just government shall be severe criminal transgression of this act. 2. Means of election of a chief executive. The chief executive office, if any, shall be, shall be filled only by a candidate and eventually, eventually winning both a national majority of the entire lawfully entitled voting populace including unexercised votes, and winning a majority of states, provinces, or territories, if any, or the respective equivalent, by majorities of the entire respective lawfully entitled voting populace, including unexercised votes. 3. Public Confirmation of Administrative Positions Official administrative positions of the Executive Office shall be publicly, publicly confirmed and periodically reaffirmed at intervals of no more than four years by both the national majority of the entire lawfully entitled voting populace, including 
unexercised votes and by a majority of states, prov provinces, or territories, if any, are the respective equivalent, by majorities of the entire respective lawfully entitled voting populace, including unexercised votes. Failure to pass affirmation or reaffirmation shall, shall immediately expel the unapproved officer and preclude any further activity akin to ostensible service. Four, public confirmation of, judi of judicial positions. In lieu of <clears throat> what we're doing here is we're, we're sealing all the ways to secure our government. <clears throat> Bad guys have to go away. They don't get to continue in office. All of their deeds are reversed and, and, and rectified. And all compensation of any kind is, 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 is reverted. <clears throat> Public confirmation of judicial positions. In lieu of alternate direct election of justices, judicial appointments shall be publicly confirmed. In other words, no more appointing judges without subject to public affirmation. Judicial appointments shall be publicly confirmed and periodically reaffirmed at intervals of no more than four years by both the subject majority of the entire lawfully entitled entitled or affected voting populace, including unexercised votes, and in the case of federal justices, by a majority of states, provinces, or territories, if any, or the respective equivalent, by majorities of the entire respective lawfully entitled voting populace, including unexercised votes. Failure to pass affirmation or reaffirmation shall immediately retire the unapproved justice and necessitate comprehensive review of related decisions sufficient to rectify any transgression or injustice precipitated or participated by the subject judicial officers. 5. Procedures for unmet election standards and replacement of expelled positions. The legislatures of related authority shall determine procedures for unmet election standards and for replacement or non-replacement of expelled officers sufficing to fulfill government responsibilities in all cases of necessity, all of which procedures and eventual consequences of either filling or vacating offices shall be subject to effective and timely means of public affirmation and reaffirmation by no less than a majority of the entire affected populace, including unexercised votes. 6. Official Restriction of Duties, Powers, and Purposes The duties, powers, and purposes of all offices, of all administrators thereof, and of all agencies shall be strictly confined to their defined bounds, and thus to offer, to negotiate, or to accept permission, reward, promise, or future award in regard to exercise or potential exercise of power, influence, or ostensible authority of office beyond official lawful salaries or to serve any cause beyond the common and formally established purposes of the people shall be severe criminal transgression of this act. 7. Lawful apportionment of voting districts. The only criteria for lawful apportionment of voting districts shall be without bias or denial of the most reasonable interests to, rep to represent each ultimate overall domain as is reasonably indistinguishable from legitimate practical representations of inclusions comprising a generally like expanse of circumstance, necessary vision, and administrative need. 8. Criminality of Transgressions To obstruct, to impede, or to deny any legitimate attempt to enforce election or administrative integrity shall be severe criminal transgressions.